my video presentation for the Virtual Robocup Cup Asia Pacific 2020 competition. My team ID is SG6024. Hello my team, my name is Sergius and I am from Singapore. I have chosen robotics as my co-curricular activity in school for 3 years since primary 3. I have also participated in competitions before, such as RoboCup and, and other robotics-related competitions. Summary of the preliminary challenge. The challenge task is to collect objects and deposit them in the orange deposit zone to gain points. The category that I am involved in is Cold Space Rescue U12. The problem is that the bot moves without collecting the objects. So the method I use to solve the problem is I set the bot to move slower, and as a result, the bot manages to pick up the object. Analysis Challenge mission is to get the most points at the end of the given time of 6 minutes. During the run, there is also some stuff the bot has to do. The bot has to collect the objects that are blue, red, and black in colour and deposit them in the orange deposit zone. It also has to avoid traps, if not then it would lose all the objects that it is carrying. AI Algorithms and Resources The AI algorithm that I used is that I set the robot to move forward until it detects an object. Then it will collect the object and continue moving forward. It sees the if it detects the deposit zone, it will stop and deposit, and if it detects the trap, it will turn and move away from the trap. Now let me get my bot started. As you can see here, this orange zone is the deposit zone, and this yellow and blue area is the trap. The blue area is the trap. The yellow area is the part that surrounds it. Along the way, there are also a few objects that are black in color, like this. Some are blue, like this. And some are also red, like these. And this is the blue zone. And in this blue zone, all objects that the bot collects will be double points. Now let me direct your attention back to my presentation. The tools and resources. I have seen videos from other winners of previous RoboCup competitions and I use them to try to visualize their program and make quick implementation of my own. The implementation. I learned the way they make the bot move and fine tune my own algorithm from there. I also try not I also try to avoid making the same mistakes again. Debugging. The robot will perform as how I programmed it most of the time, but sometimes it still does not work. And a possible cause for that is that I might have changed the number distance by too much or I had arranged the sequence of programs wrongly. So how I fixed the situation? I would run and step through the program, then I would change the program the way I intended it to be and how I wanted it to run. The conclusion. The robot runs properly without any problems for every run after the fix. If I was asked to solve the same challenge again, I would definitely be more careful when finding out the codes and would try not to make the same mistakes again. My learning experience, what I have learned through the Virtual RoboCup Asia Pacific Challenge, is that the Cold Space Robot software is not one that is very easy to program, so patience is needed. 
And what I would like to share with the other course based participants is that in order to have a good program, you need time and effort. You cannot get a great program in just one hour or just a day. An experience helps to improve, improve skills. If you did not win an award for a competition, it's okay as you can still use your experience to help you for a future competitions you take part in. And most importantly, do not rush. If you rush, you might do the steps all wrong. And one and remember, one step of the program can mess up the entire program. So much that the robot may not be e even able to move forward properly. And this is the end of my presentation. Thank you for listening to my presentation, everyone.